Notice the orange. This is a special. This is for my second gold bar. The second gold bar. Uh, no edit. I'm just going to do this. This is uh, for Rachel Notley. Um, oh, that looks really good already. Um, that's exactly what I want. Um, now here's the part that... What's this got to do with Rachel Notley? Because I believe in her. You know, everybody has a right to believe in whatever political party. Uh, it, it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. It's just my art. You might think, if you happen to be watching this before the election, which is literally in two days, uh... Chances are you won't, so I'm not really worried because I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that. And, uh, okay, here, here's the hard part because I'm, this tends to screw up a lot. But, you know what? Ain't gonna happen. You know why? Because it's written in the cards. Nice. Very nice. I like this. That's my second canvas gold bar priced at whatever the price is today. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a look at that. Good look at it. Uh, that's really big. Canvas gold bar goes up at the price of an ounce of gold every single day for ever. I'll be right back. See what the ounce price is today. The ounce price today is one thousand two hundred ninety-one dollars and seventy cents. So every this might sound really crazy to you, but this is my take on canvas is gold. Uh, canvas gold forever goes up $1,291.70 every 24 hours forever till the end of time. And... One of the first two days you get to see this video in 1080p. 1080. Usually it's all in 720. So it's 1080. So you get to see it. I, I think if it, I encode it right and everything. Okay. So Rachel Notley. She's going to win. I'm calling it. She's going to win because Albertans, you know, I see a lot of uh, newspapers. I see a lot of uh, pictures where they had of Notley and stuff like that, where she has a scowl, scowl or her face is like smiling and perfect. They do that on purpose. And, and then magically some of the other uh, candidates kind of thing is smiling. They make it look, you know what? They say, oh, bring jobs and everything. Uh, jobs in Alberta is basically all of them are tied to oil prices. Oil prices uh, being so low is not our fault. It's a world price. It's, it's not our fault. Uh, since our oil is landlocked and we can't get to the coast and it seems like... Uh, when the pipeline ever gets built, if it ever happens, then being native, we need energy, but the environment has to come first. That's all I have to say about that. 
it could be done, but the environment has to come first. Or all my native brothers and sisters will get very upset with me. Um, Rachel Notley has done a good job. With the carbon tax and stuff like that, as a native, i got to ask all of you one question. Have you noticed the migrating birds coming back earlier and earlier every year? Especially this year. Have you noticed that? Nature adjusts to climate change herself. Now, you can't dispute migrating birds coming back early. And they clearly have. Permafrost up north on my reserve and stuff like that is... is in, in a lot of reserves up north is thawing out trees that stood for hundreds and hundreds of years in that permafrost because it was stable is just falling over there's pools of water appearing up there climate change is happening There's no way to convince you, but you to take my word for it. It is happening. Obviously, you look at uh, the migrating migration. That's proof right there. But we're done with that. Carbon tax has to be done. Uh, I don't see, you know, big business has come to Alberta and, and how many Albertans actually, now I could get in trouble for saying this, uh, how many big businesses out there come to Alberta, pull the resources out of the ground, they make, they line their pockets, they give the government their share, but what does the average Albertan get? Nothing. They might get a little bit, a couple cents off of gasoline in the future, but they get nothing. The carbon rebate, the way I see it, is just, and I might get in trouble for this, but it's my view, is is my dividend. Uh, my, since the carbon rebate is, is been done, I've got literally in, in a couple of years about a thousand dollars in carbon rebates and stuff, uh, 75, 50 dollars uh, every three months. Uh, every year you get about 300 dollars a month, uh, a year. That's 300 dollars and, and a majority of Albertans that never had before. And you take the carbon rebate away, take that away, and then we lose that. And the, as far as I'm concerned, I it's a nice it, carbon thing is a nice way for me to say to myself my personal opinion only is that's my fair share from big business that takes my Albertans resources okay native or no native which I am a treaty status native and there's a lot of people don't like and not later there's a lot of people but in the end, you gotta really research, really go see what she's done in the last four, three and a half, four years. I don't know what it is, but she's did a lot. Changed lives. People say, oh, the $15 an hour, you know, raised prices. Maybe it did, but come on. Do you remember the 1979 when chocolate bars were a quarter? Do you remember in 1979 when uh, a bottle of soda pop was like 50 cents? Come on. It, it's going to go up. It's going to go up. You're going to see it go up another 10 years or double what it is now. Stuff goes up. End of story. We make, as as a province, as uh, Albertans, we make more in the long run anyways. We have... A lot of jobs and stuff already you know people that make a lot of money live comfortably anyways a lot of people who've lost jobs and that it is not because of Rachel not at least because of big business uh, oil prices are way low it's a direct result of that I don't want to sound people that know me see know that I and, and Notley has nothing to do with me talking about this, making this. You know what? If 
you happen to be watching this not like this is yours this is yours this is your own canvas if if you don't win I, I'm quite sure I'm willing to bet uh, bet hundreds of dollars that you're gonna win uh, because Albertans ain't dumb in the end we're all pretty smart people and we might not say you know the polls don't believe in the polls uh, south of the border remember all the polls said Trump who had a hundred percent chance of not winning and he did okay put it that way don't believe the polls I believe that not least gonna win I don't know about but landslide but maybe by 15% to 20% or something like that I'm quite sure if she doesn't win she has something that only very few actually nobody has this yet there's gonna be a hundred of these canvas gold bars that are my take on actual gold but instead of getting an ounce of gold for a thousand two hundred ninety one seventy this goes up in price I put the price tomorrow at noon basic at 1291.70 and then I raised the price the or Tuesday at noon another 1291.70 and then I raised the price forever this is a piece of art it is my right there is no I could do whatever I want in the art world and I choose for all my paintings that uh, are dollar per minute forever and these gold ones is uh, 1,291 the gold price today forever so it's around a half a million a year probably just old, under because it's not at the bin it's a dollar 1,440 a, a every 24 hours which is about a uh, half a million 52,000 or something like this so this would be just under that but still Rachel if you win the next four years then you're gonna have to wait for this because I can't give you this until you're out of office kind of thing so it might be a dynasty and you might be in power for the next 40 years and then by then this is uh, wow, it'd be about a half a million times 40, it'd be 20, just under 20 million dollars for this. There's this crazy guy in war paint talking about Rachel Notley. I'm an artist. This is my art. This video is an art piece. This war paint on my face is an art piece. This is one of three art pieces you're looking at the face the video in this this is my art so you're getting three things in this and this can't be copied oh I have to sign this uh, this is second gold uh, number two uh, how did I sign the other one so and by the way, I happen to have the very first one here, the gold one, from the last week. So it's not, it's not just a thing. And, yeah, this is number one. And the painting from today for Tiger Woods. Or Tiger Woods won the Masters today. This is what this looks like. Tiger Woods won the Augusta Masters, and this is his, basically. So... No, this war paint is kind of tied in with the Tiger Woods painting too. I just repainted myself to. So they're separate. They're separate. It's simple. I support her, and I'm gonna tell you one little simple little thing. I never voted in my life never really cared 
The last thing I ever wanted is my art to be tied in with anything political, but I believe in this woman and what she's doing, and I believe in her. And I'm going to be, on Tuesday, I'm going to vote for the first time in my life. I've never voted for anything, never cared. Let everybody who won in the past just, oh, well, they're going to win because they're going to win. But the reason I'm voting, because I'm really, I really think she needs everybody's help right now to keep her where she belongs. Keeping us having a quality life uh, people uh, you know if you have money in a world and stuff like that and and you uh, and you lost your job in Alberta kind of thing you can't blame it on her uh, it's the economy in general it doesn't matter who would be in power what happens if the PC uh, from the last election was still in power they still blame them. I don't think they had nothing. And and if you really think about it, carbon tax has. I don't think in the long run has nothing really to do with companies leaving Alberta, because the fact is the oil is here. We have the second or third largest proven oil reserves in the oil sands in the world, and and so. And then you get people like saying, oh, Chuck, what do you feel as a native? What, what's your opinion on the oil sands? And I go, if you have a nice house and you're comfortable in your backyard, in your sandbox, where your kids play in the future and kids play, uh, and there was oil in that sandbox, wouldn't you clean it up? And the byproduct to cleaning that oil up out of our backyard up north is making some money on it. I say clean it up. I could get in a lot of trouble from my native brothers and sisters for that because, but that's my personal opinion. But do it in the best way possible. Uh, use every carbon capture mesh. If Rachel Notley doesn't win, I'd be very, very surprised. But I really believe, I really believe she's going to win. Because Albertans ain't dumb. They're not dumb people. You know, and that's just a start. She's going to make things better. And you could ask yourself one question. All the campaign promises that she made back then, did she keep them? Ask yourself that one question. Did she keep them? Of course she did. My name is Joseph Charles Cullen, the new face of art. This is Rachel Notley's canvas bar I don't know maybe you want to tell her to you know maybe you want to ask her in the future if you're friends of hers or, or friends of her or something or a family member like uh, Rachel can you just like uh, quarter this so I get a little piece of that gold oh yeah Rachel Notley I hope you win I hope you really really hope you win Everybody watching this, if you happen to be watching this, just remember, I'm not crazy. It's just my art. This is my style. I put it on my war paint on my face. And I'm not going to do a video on Rachel Notley or anything like that with no war paint just to show I'm normal and everything because I'm an average Albertan. Uh, same job for 20 years. Same job for 20 years in Alberta. And I'm a working man. That's it. I hope 
I hope uh, hope Alberta does right, but I'm quite confident in Albertans that you will vote right. This is 100% no endorsement from Notley doesn't even know, her camp doesn't even know about this. Okay. Um, just an average guy. Trying to make history in the art world. Canvas gold. Thank you for watching, guys. Ah! How long is this? 20 minutes. <laughs> if somebody from Otley's camp or somebody's watching this, they're going to go, oh, what? What? Well, this is real. And on Tuesday, I'm going to vote for real. I'm going to vote for real. Never voted in my life. Never cared. But I care about Rachel. She needs to be back in to take care of all of us Albertans. Thank you for watching. Joe Strauss Call, the new face of art.